if you know the sketch, it's, you know, you've got uh, a group of uh, black men and women in their, you know, late 20s and 30s who go away uh, or in a cabin and they're haunted by a cabin killer and he says, I'm going to kill the blackest of you. Uh, and then they they go around and figure out, they trade barbs about who's the blackest. What we started to find when we started looking at the sketch and how it would be a movie, we started thinking, you know, you know, as uh, in black culture, you or in other cultures, when you watch these horror movies, if you've ever been to a theater, you hear people yelling back at the screen, don't go in there, don't do that. And, you know, we, you know, as being a part, you know, being black myself, we always talk about, well, we would never do that, right? We would never do some of the things that you see in a horror movie. So we've kind of blown that out a little bit and found the comedic portion of that. At the same time, we want this film to be uh, frightening and scary. Um, but the comedy is ever present. The relationship between the characters is unique, um, and the the look at uh, culture is unique. I think that uh, the opportunities for comedy exist in horror, but we just have taken it uh, to the next level. The script, the characters, uh, the improvisation, um, and, and our director's understanding of comedy is vital to this movie. Oh man, we're we're so fortunate, you know. Uh, this is um, the kind of cast that I could have only wished we we could have gotten. Um, I think that um, you know it's a list of you know up and coming, smart, talented, funny, uh, gifted. Uh, people of color who um, sometimes aren't, aren't seen. Um, and having gotten a vehicle where they can all kind of flex their muscles. Um, they're, you know, I, I, I was familiar with every single one of them before we got started. Um, and they each bring their own strengths to the table. Um, and they play really well off each other. Uh, and I think the the other thing that's really beautiful about this cast is they like each other. You know, they don't have to be convinced to spend time with each other. Well, thematically, we, you know, one of the things that's unearthed is, you know, who's the blackest? Um, or what does it mean to be black? And you really, there, there, there's no such thing, truthfully. I mean, there's a culture that uh, we all uh, sort of understand and get as black people, uh, but some people are raised slight, slight, slightly different. Um, and they come from different backgrounds, social and economic backgrounds. Does it make you any less black? I think having a sense of your identity and who, where you sit in the world and um, your place in the world is uh, vital to uh, any culture or heritage. Uh, but I think that this movie kind of starts to deconstruct that a little bit and we have a little bit of fun with it. Well, Tim's great. Um, Tim is, um, you know, he's, a, he's a, just a good person, uh, first and foremost. And he, he's very calm and zen. Um, he, um, he doesn't, his ego doesn't get in the way of a good decision. Um, He's got an ego, and he should. Um, he's an accomplished director, and he's but he's confident. He's sure of himself. Um, he uh, takes in information really well, and um, he uh, listens to uh, thoughts. Um, but he's got a point of view, which is what you want every director to have.